Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, don't drag your old relationship into the new. You finally have a new relationship that seems to be the answer to your every prayer. Oh, happy day, all is well. And then, hmm, then, your new live-in partner does something that reminds you of your ex, like is late to pick you up from work, or forgets to pay a bill, or misses the hamper more often than not. And within seconds, you're either panicked or yelling. Your new love is mystified. Why the over-the-top reaction? What happened to the loving, caring, serene person you were a moment ago? Well, that loving, caring, serene person disappeared as you dragged the what I hated of your old relationship into the new. Yes, your new love was late picking you up from work. But that does not mean that they share your ex-husband's or ex-lover's chronic lateness disorder. It means they were late this time, this once. Same with forgetting to pay a bill. Like, uh, you've never forgotten to pay something? Hmm, right. Or missing the hamper. Well, it may be a once-in-a-while thing or even a once-only thing. But most importantly, they are not your ex. And it is highly unlikely that you've managed to pair up with a clone of your ex. So, step back from your panic or anger and deal with your new sweetheart's behavior as just that. Behavior. Not as a fatal character flaw that's about to tank your coupled bliss. If you don't like something, don't panic or assume ex-partnerness. Tell your new partner what you've observed and how you feel about it. As in, when you're late to pick me up, I get panicky because I, I, I need to feel safe and secure. You're because the reason that you feel the way you feel is important. It's how you stay away from blaming your new partner. As in, when you're late to pick me up, I get panicky because I'm terrified you're like my ex and you're going to leave me in the lurch all the time. Well, as true as that feeling may be for you, take a deep breath and treat your new love like the new person in your life that they are and speak to your need, not to their projected awfulness. And then make a request. Would you please pick me up on time tomorrow? Preferably using a kind, non-judgmental tone of voice. I know, I know, it's hard, but you're a grown-up. You can do this. If you don't leap to the conclusion that your new sweetheart's flaws and foibles are repeats of your exes, you'll treat them differently. Chances are excellent they will then respond differently than your ex would have. And you really can experience that new, better, improved relationship you so deserve and so desire. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my latest book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.